Hi, this is Scott Jordan. It's my daily blog post for, what is it? Uh, Friday. Thank God it's Friday. July 25th. I have a very special blog post today. Uh, we have the pleasure of interviewing uh, and being interviewed by Rohit Bhargava. Did I pronounce that right? Yeah, you got it. All right. It's, it's not easy. Rohit wrote a, 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 an amazing book called Personality Not Included, uh, which talks about uh, companies that have um, lost their, in effect, personality and how they find ways to get it back uh, and how important that is. And I was fortunate enough to be a case study uh, in the book, and, I, and I, I'll, I'll put up a link so you can read uh, the excerpt of that portion. And, and Rohit has interviewed me for his, his website, and that interview follows this. So I just wanted to introduce Rohit and uh, let him explain perhaps some of the reasons why he, he, he selected us to, in, in, to include in this book. So without further ado. <laughs> yeah, so it was, um, it was, uh, it was great to, um, to, find, uh, to find Scotty Best as, a, as an example because it, um, it was sort of the perfect timing. I mean, I, I told Scott that um, uh, the moment when, uh, when I was doing the research, uh, my, my – um, uh, my wife actually stumbled upon Scotty Vest products and uh, thought, oh, this is perfect because I'm always carrying around uh, all my gadgets and I never have anywhere to put them. And I was totally the target audience, right, because I have my um, multiple gadgets and, uh, and, and, uh, and I'm always uh, on the go. So uh, sure enough, I checked out the website, and one of the things that really struck me as interesting was um, one of the things your website said was that you personally answer all your emails. And so I thought, okay, let's test this out. <laughs> so I sent an email, um, and uh, and I got a response. And we started talking over email, and basically, um, uh, you know, I told you a little bit about the book and the premise of it, and it just seemed like a really interesting fit. And the more that we talked about it, uh, the more that it seemed like, well, you had a really, really interesting and a great story uh, that would fit really well in, in into the book. So uh, I was really glad to find it at, uh, at the right time, sort of at the right time at the right place. Um, and, uh, and it's been great. And it's, it's one of my uh, favorite stories in the book. So How's the book doing? Uh, it's great. A lot of people have uh, – it's, um, it's very different from a lot of marketing books out there. I mean the, uh, it is in the marketing category, but the big way that I've described it to a lot of people it's, is it's a marketing book for non-marketers. Uh, so what I mean by that is it's not too academic, uh, it's not too kind of boring business book. Uh, the words that I've used to describe it have been very un-business books. So I describe it as a fun book to read. That's a couple of the reviews actually that I've gotten have been people saying that it's fun. Um, and I had a sort of a two-word strategy for what I wanted to get across with the book. I wanted to write a book that was entertaining and that was useful. And by doing those two things, I made it something that people could actually read in one sitting and not kind of use to put themselves to sleep. Um, and uh, also one that had like lots of useful stuff so that you could kind of fold in pages and go back to it and have like step-by-step -step types of guides and things. So I didn't want it to be just a book that you could kind of look at once and leave on the bookshelf and never open again. Um, I wanted it to be something that would actually kind of sit on your desk and you'd flip back and forth and say, oh, okay, maybe I could do this or maybe I could do that. So lots of ideas. I found it to be really entertaining. I know um, a, a really good read and a quick read, an easy read, and and, and, and really striking a point that I, I think that you know people are missing, and that is that brands do need personality and, and that to utilize all these these methods, not just social networking sites, but others, you know, and, and to bring, you know, uh, you know, make someone identify with your brand, whether it be a brand, in my case, you know, sort of surrounding, you know, uh, one person's idea or a much larger company. And I think you, you address uh, both of those very, very well. What do you do for a day job? Uh, my day job is um, at a large marketing agency called Ogilvy. Um, so um, one of the interesting things about that, and by the way, I didn't quit my day job yet, <laughs> and uh, I also didn't, uh, didn't stop working while I was writing the book. So one of the big things that I talk about in the book is that you know, I'm not a theory-based guy where I think this stuff might work, but I don't actually have any experience doing it. Um, everything that I wrote about is stuff that I'm using for clients. Um, and that was really important to me because I didn't want this to be theoretical. I wanted it to be stuff that actually really works. Um, and in, in that, my day job, I get to do a great variety of work. So I've got a, a really interesting project for Lenovo with the Olympics right now. 
which is the company that makes the ThinkPad laptops. Um, I've done stuff with, uh, you know, Reach Toothbrushes, Lipton Tea. Uh, so huge variety of products. I don't just work in, you know, technology or uh, any one space. I've worked on a lot of different different brands and different products. So the interesting thing for me about that is, is number one, it's it's more fun fun to do that because you're not stuck just working on one thing all the time. Uh, but the other thing is that it really forces you to question any idea that you have and whether it's actually useful for a wide variety of people or whether it's just going to be useful for that one little place that you know about. Interesting. So that was really good for me. Are you thinking about the next book or are you, you going to say? <laughs> um, you know, I, I, I have been, but uh, one of the ways that um, that a lot of people describe getting a book out is it's kind of like like publishing your first book is like having a baby, like, as soon as you have it, the last thing you're thinking about is another one. You're just trying to deal with the one that you've got. How has so your How has your life changed? Uh, and, you know, being a, a senior executive at a very large firm to, you know, a, a book author. As uh, you know, you're doing book tours. I'm I'm reading about you all the time in, in my Google news alerts. It seems like your life have, has changed pretty radically. Yeah, it's. I mean, I always, I've always done speaking at uh, at events, but a couple of things have changed since the book came out. Uh, number one, I get a lot better speaking invites. Um, so instead of just being on panels and stuff, uh, I'm getting invites to do keynotes um, now, which is it's a lot higher profile, which is great. Um, the other thing is that um, it really gives you that. Uh, sometimes when you're working in marketing for a brand, um, especially established brands, which I get to work with a lot, um, it's hard to to sort of um, quench that thirst for entrepreneurship, if you have that, uh, which is starting your own thing or doing the startup thing. And so a lot of people, I mean, a lot of people that I work with who have that, they all, they all have their kind of side project, their thing that they are trying to do on the side that they wouldn't necessarily want to do for a living because that's too much, that's too much pressure and it sort of takes the fun out of it if you have to make a living off of it and support your family with it. But if you can do it on the side, then it's, then it's a lot of fun and it, it keeps that, it keeps... Uh, that passion um, of yours uh, engaged. So for me, the book has been sort of the ultimate startup because I've had to build a brand from nothing. Uh, when I first um, did a Google search, uh, before I published the book, when I was coming up with titles for the book, I did a Google search for personality not included as like under quotes and uh, found like one or two results, which is just people who happen to use that phrase um, but they didn't really, they didn't like use it as a title for anything. They just, it happened to be a, in text and now there's, there's a couple hundred thousand things. Um, oh, about wow. that. so it's, I mean, it's, um, it, it's been a lot of, lot of buzz, a lot of blogs mentioning it, a lot of websites. Um, it's been, been really phenomenal. So there's no shortage of, of, um, uh, mentions of, of that term now. Yeah, you really have influenced, I think, the way people you know approach this, and I think that that, that you've made a, a mark uh, even just shortly after the book has been published. Yeah, it clearly made a you 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 are a large part of the influence in a lot of the the steps that we're taking. Um, we were working on those past, but it was more or less encouragement and. Um, uh, to, to continue along the, the, this path after after your book came out, as we talk about in the interview. So um, I'm going to post both this as a, a preamble to, to the main interview, which will also be uh, available on your site. I can't thank you enough for, for, for writing about me and taking the opportunity today to talk talk with me. And I wish you nothing but continued success and, and happiness. And, uh, and, um, and this is Scott saying that if you can't take it with you, you probably forgot to bring your Scotty vest. And signing off. <laughs> uh,